everybody. Um, this uniform is my father's. He passed away in 1999, and the leadership team of the rally said it would be honoring to him if I wore it. So that's why I have it on today. And my father um, had to have his mother sign because he enlisted underage. And there's one more interesting story. He um, went into the Navy and he was a pilot and flew off aircraft carriers. And um, one day they were out doing maneuvers and somebody clipped his tail and his plane was going down. He had to uh, eject and it just so happened he survived or I wouldn't be here. But um, that was a around the time when Sigorsky helicopters were trying to sell their contract to the Navy. And my father is listed in the uh, Sigorsky website in their archives on an article about that. His name is listed in there. So I thought that would be interesting to share with you. Um, I was born in Rhode Island, Bunce of Points, with red hair. So I was a Rhode Island red. Well, that's a chicken in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> My talk today is on taking up a nation. I was reading a book called They Fired the First Shot 2012, and it's a very thick book, kind of like War and Peace, um, but it gets a whole lot of good information and explains things. And I'd like to explain to you just a few things about what I uh, found in there. And it, it's, it's something that is, it goes from one to another, to another, and it seems like this is a plan that certain authorities are using to uh, destroy and take over nations. So we, if we're aware of the plan and we can see it coming, then we know how to prevent it. So um, the first thing they do is uh, they use the media to sow seeds of hate. Uh, the book talks about what happened in Rwanda, and there was two tribes. They were all black people, so I don't know how they differentiated with, with one from another, but one group was darker skin and the other group was lighter skin. So they pitted the darker skin blacks against the lighter skin blacks. And they fell for it. They started to hate. And hate each other they did. Then government, there were two government officials in Rwanda who went along with this and uh, they got on the media and the people believed them because there was government supporting this horrible, hateful idea. Then they uh, disarmed all the people. All the people turned in their weapons. And they lined the streets with piles of weapons and they confiscated the weapons because there was unrest and the government made the people believe that this would cause peace. This would grant them peace if they were to uh, disarm. So they did that. Then. Um, it just so happened that there were peacekeeping forces in Rwanda. The United Nations had uh, peacekeeping forces there. And they were withdrawn. Now why would the peacekeeping forces be withdrawn? So then, right after that, after they got them out, then someone brought in thousands of machetes. Machetes are those long knives, we all know, see? And they armed the darker skin. They were, that's why we saw the Hutus. And they armed them. And the Hutus went after the Tutsis, which were the lighter skin. And they massacred them. 1.7 billion people died. And all because they sowed the seeds of hate. And this was during the Clinton administration, and Clinton came out and said, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't believe in 